be ready 5 seconds my dear fellow citizens i extend to you all my 78th independence day greetings it is an expression of the joy of being part of our great nation along with fellow indians just as we celebrate various festivals with our families we celebrate our independence day and republic day with our family that comprises our fellow citizens on 15th of august in all parts of the country and also abroad indians participate in the ceremonies sing patriotic songs and distribute sweets young children participate in cultural events when we hear them talking about our great nation and about the privilege of being a citizen of it we find in their words echoes of what our great freedom fighters used to say then we realize that we are part of a chain that binds the dreams of those who participated in the freedom struggle and the aspirations of those who will witness the nation regaining its full glory in the years to come realizing that we are links of this chain of history makes us recall the days when the nation was under a foreign rule patriotic and brave souls took immense risks and made supreme sacrifices we salute their memory different traditions and values that had continued to live on beneath the surface found new expressions in several generations of great leaders unifying the diversity of traditions and their expressions was mahatma gandhi father of the nation my dear fellow citizens today on 14th august the nation is observing a day to recall partition horrors as the great nation was divided millions had to suffer forced migration lakhs of people lost their lives a day before we celebrate independence day we recall that unparalleled human tragedy and stand with the families that were torn asunder we are celebrating the 75th year of the constitution the journey of the newly independent nation was not without obstacles remaining firm on the constitutional ideals of justice equality liberty and fraternity we are on the mission to enable india to reclaim its rightful position on the global stage as general elections were held in our country this year the number of eligible voters stood at nearly 97 crore this was a historic record making it the largest electoral exercise humankind has ever witnessed the election commission of india should be congratulated for the smooth and flawless conduct of such a gigantic event i thank all officials and security personnel who braved the heat and helped electors when such a large number of people exercise their franchise it is a resounding vote for the idea of democracy india's successful conduct of elections strengthens democratic forces around the world dear fellow citizens india has been among the fastest growing major economies with an average growth rate of 8% annually this has not only put more money in the hands of people it has also reduced the number of people living below the poverty line as for those who continue to suffer from poverty all efforts are being made not only to provide a helping hand to them but also to bring them out of it for example the pm garib kalyan anna yojana launched in the initial phase of covid continues to provide free ration to people which also ensures that those who have recently come out of poverty are not forced back into it it is a matter of pride for all that india has become the fifth largest economy in the world and we are also poised 
to become one of the top economies soon. This has been made possible only by tireless hard work of farmers and workers, by the planners and by the visionary leadership. Farmers, our Annadatta, have ensured that agricultural production continues to beat expectations. Infrastructure has received a boost in recent years. Strategic planning and effective institutions have helped expand the network of roads and highways, railways as well as ports. Considering the great potential of technology, the government has promoted a range of sectors such as semiconductors and artificial intelligence while also creating an ideal ecosystem for startups which will propel their growth. It has made India an even more attractive investment destination. With greater transparency, the banking and financial sector has become much more efficient. All of these factors have set the stage for the next generation of economic reforms and economic growth that will catapult India among the developed nations. This rapid but equitable progress has given India a higher stature in global affairs. My dear fellow citizens, we must remember the words of Dr. Ambedkar, the architect of our constitution. He had rightly said that we must make our political democracy a social democracy as well. Political democracy cannot last unless there lies at the base of it social democracy. The steady progress of political democracy testifies to the progress made towards the social democracy. I firmly believe that in a vast country like ours, tendencies that stoke discord have to be rejected. Social justice is a top priority of the government and it has taken a number of initiatives for the welfare of the scheduled castes, scheduled tribes and other marginalized sections of society. The National Action for Mechanized Sanitation Ecosystem will ensure that no sanitation workers will have to manually engage in the hazardous task of sewer and septic tank cleaning. The term justice taken in the broadest possible sense, includes a variety of social factors. I would like to stress two of them in particular, namely gender justice and climate justice. In our society, women are considered not only equal but even more than equal. However, they have also suffered from traditional prejudices. But I am glad to note that the government has given equal importance to women's welfare and women's empowerment. The budget allocation for this purpose has more than tripled in the last decade. Their participation in the labor force has increased. The most heartening development on this front has been the significant improvement in the sex ratio at birth. A variety of special government schemes have also been designed keeping the women at the center. Climate change has become a reality. It is all the more challenging for developing nations to change their economic paradigm. Yet, we have already made more progress in that direction than expected. India is proud to be at the forefront of humankind's battle to save the planet from the worst effects of global warming. I also urge you all to make small but effective changes in your lifestyle and contribute to the cause of dealing with the challenge of climate change. Speaking of justice, let me also mention here that from July this year we have removed one more relic of the colonial era. The new code is oriented towards ensuring justice for the victims of crime instead of focusing on punishment alone. I see this change as a tribute to the freedom fighters. My dear fellow citizens, the Amrit Kal, the ongoing period of a quarter century leading to the centenary of our independence, is going to be shaped by the youth of today.
it is their energy and enthusiasm that will help the nation scale new heights. Cultivating the young minds and creating a new mindset that takes the best of the traditions and knowledge is our priority.